Hello sa BGCF family. Uh, first, I'd like you to know na it is not my thing to share my thoughts and record myself. So, by the time na I was making my script, I knew magiging conscious ako sobra sa tsura ko and how do I sound. Uh, but just like the others, I would like to encourage everyone through my experience during this pandemic and how special it is because of the Lord. I will start I would like to start by saying sometimes you realize how much a person or a thing means to you when you lose them. Fortunately, I didn't lose anyone, I believe. But sometimes yung feeling na ginagawa ko yung ministry that I am used to do with the people in the church and now na nawala for a while is really depressing. And I didn't realize how much fellowship means to me until I started not seeing you guys. Uh, last time I was with the Dukalan family and Navarro family and it was really refreshing to see some of the people from the church. For a short period of time that I was with them, I was made renewed by the Lord. I was really having a good time kasama yung family nila. Naalala ko yung iyak ni Tita Jenny. That's how I feel, actually, deep inside. That's how I miss the church. To the point na sinasabi ko kay Dux, Dux, magpahayos ka na kay Tita, Emma, Emma at Tito Ronald. Uh, gusto ko na i-record yung praise and worship na yan, no? Uh, ni Dux. I was ready to do it kahit napaka sudden nung decision namin ni Jabez to visit the family. Ang plan lang naman talaga namin ano eh, magmano kay Tito Ronald tsaka kay Tita Emma tsaka kailan na Tita Jenny. But that's how I miss the church. That's how I miss doing the ministry with the church. First, I was frustrated to know the situation just before my announce yung lockdown because I have plans beginning this year and it requires to be executed as soon as possible. Kaya lang, due to this pandemic, I was forced, well, I am forced to stay home and relax. But this quarantine was made special by the Lord. Just by the fact na natitikman ko yung masat na luto ni Mama ulit. Plus, she learned to do pastries as well. So yung mga cravings ko for dessert that I was used to buy sa mga coffee shop na satisfy ng Lord through my mother. For me, since official tambay ako, the Lord gave me a new skill and a new ministry to team up with the media team ng church and do video editing and ensure the program of the church when live streaming. This pandemic teaches a lot of people to develop new skills not just to avoid being idle but essentially to survive. And the Lord is faithful as always when He chose us to serve His ministry. Praise God! I know in the future mapagkakitaan ko yung mga luto ni Mama tsaka bake niya. <laughs> I was blessed by the Lord to be working with very talented, confidently beautiful, with a heart, intelligent people, team relevant. That is Jabez, JV, Jen, Michelle, and Joy. I couldn't ask for more. These guys are the best on getting the job done. We were challenged to make a relevance at our community as a church. And I praise God because he gave me good ideas si Joy with her connection. Plus the talent of the team relevant to support our frontliners. I could say to the church right now that the project was a success more than I thought it would be. It was really an honor to work with you guys. Praise God sa buhay niyo. Team relevant. Enjoy. Ever since I started devoting my life to the Lord again, my relationship with Him is in a sinking deep effect. Falling in love sa ministry ng Lord each and every day. And with the life of my father, Pastor Romel, my brother, Pastor Jabez, not only I'm learning theologically, I am so grateful on how wonderful our Lord is sa buhay natin. 
and I don't want to be removed from this ever again. These past series, I am reminded that we should strive for the unity of our church, regardless of how unique we are. The Lord Jesus Christ made me believe that there is unity and diversity through Him. That no matter what the situation could be, we will always have each other's back. And that the gospel is not a basic step to learn in your journey with the Lord, but it is every single bit of His word. And we should live the gospel in our own reality. After hearing all these, I started reading the Bible again and prayed to the Lord that He will reveal His truth, Jesus Christ, in every single chapter and in every single verses. So that's all, folks. I am really looking forward to be seeing you again real soon. God bless us all and stay safe always. Ciao.